Radial neodymium ring magnets. There's actually two ways to make a radial neodymium ring magnet. One is a molded process where they have to impress the magnetic field on it during the centering process. And these require a very expensive three or four thousand dollar mold to make. So if you really need one, that's the one you'd want to go with, but you really need to have a large quantity in order to justify that kind of cost. And what they're doing in these that you see on my website is I'm having these made as arc segments, just like the motor magnets, but these radial arc segments, instead of each one being attracted to its neighbor, repel its neighbor. This makes assembly extremely difficult. If you will notice, these are very expensive relative to the amount of magnet material that you have. That's because they have to be hand assembled, and they've got these brass shells on them to help contain the magnets. This one is a two inch diameter, outside diameter, one inch inside diameter, half inch thick, N50, and it takes 12 magnets to make the circle. They're 30 degree arc segments. Now, if you look at the magnetic field around on the outside, it does have peaks and valleys. It's not a perfectly uniform magnetic field, but for most people's application looking at this, people making voice coils, people doing other experiments, this is a good enough representation and gets a much stronger magnetic field than they would be able to get with a ceramic magnet. And on the inside, it's a much better field because you have smaller area that you're forcing the magnetic field into. One of the things to keep in mind though is since each one of these magnets is repelling each other and forcing the magnetic field to the center, what you end up with is in the dead center of this, zero magnetism. Because all the norths are coming together and you get zero magnetism. We actually have a small version of this same magnet. We have some one inch ODs and half inch, uh, with a half inch ID. We also have these tiny little six millimeter ones made out of six magnets. You can see the six magnets around in here and a little brass shell hauled them in. And a lot of times people want to know what is the advantage of the brass shell? I had somebody that really wanted me to get this wall thickness down as thin as possible. So I took some sandpaper and I started sanding it down using a, a drill to turn this. And this was one of these radial ring magnets. And what happened is as I got the shell thickness too thin for the brass to contain the strength of these neodymium magnets repelling each other, it ripped the brass and popped all the magnets out and made this nice little stack of magnets instead of having them as a radial ring magnet. So you wanna be careful if you get one of these. Keep in mind they have been hand assembled. They are glued together. And if you have special applications and you need special sizes and shapes, we can certainly get them made, but they will be hand assembled, so they're gonna be a little more expensive than you might expect. Hope this answers all of your questions on the radial ring magnets. If you have any more, don't hesitate to ask.